hello guys uh, I'm Nimeshka so in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, see which files are modified in a git commit so I already have a git repository here mm. so let's get started I will right click on this folder and I will start git bash and uh, I will run the command git status to see the status of my git repository Mm, as you can see there are three files which are untracked files so first I need to add these three files I will uh, run the command git add uh, sorry git add dot and if I run the git status command here again you can see these three files are now in the staging area I can commit these files uh, this will be my first commit so I will uh, run something like git commit dash a dash m um, initial commit now uh, if I run the git status again you can see uh, on branch master nothing to commit so uh, all these files are now committed now there are no changes here mm, to do this now let's make a few more commits and see how it works I will open this index.php file and I will make some uh, small changes to this file uh yeah it's open let's write some php in this one php uh, echo hello my name is meshka save it and i will uh, open about.php also this one i will uh, echo this is my about page let's save this one and uh, now let's go to the git bash and see the git status you can see the two files are now shown as modified uh, we changed the content of this index.php file and the about.php file now they are showing here now we can uh, commit these two files we don't need to add them again uh, we can add them while we are committing so I will run the command git commit dash a dash a will actually add these uh, two modified files we don't have to add them specifically and my message um, I will run uh, I will give a message uh, testing we have I will call this uh, my second commit now uh, you can see two files change now if I run the git status again here, you can see no oh, changes are tracked yet, so it's all clean. Now uh, if I uh, run the git uh, log, you can see uh, the two commits I have done, the first one and the second commit, initial commit and the second commit. Now. Uh, Mm. all right now uh, we have done a, a let's change another file uh, let's uh, edit this contact.php file also php php go this is a contact file now we have made another change here now let's run the git status again you can see uh, this file is now modified we will commit that also commit dash a dash m my third commit all right fine now we have three commits here now we can see uh, there are three commits the initial commit second commit and my third commit now i uh, want to see which files have been changed in my second commit no, uh, first let's see what files change in the last commit. To, to do that, we have the command git show. And if I run the git show command, you can see the file is, uh, the content of the file is also shown here. Uh, suppose if this is a very uh, long file, this uh, output will not be very much clear to you. I just wanted to see the file names. So I will issue the command uh, git show double dash name dash only. 
and when you pass that parameter it will show you only the file name now uh, you can see my last commit the file which was changed is the contact.php that's the file we change here now uh, if we uh, I, will, I will reset this one uh, now I will run the git log again now these are the three commits now if I want to see uh, which file to change in my second commit now what I have to do is I will copy this git commit id and I will pass this uh, commit id to git show and paste your commit id here so uh, it will show you the file which was changed in, the, in that particular commit id uh, so I need to again show only the name so I will give this parameter file uh, sorry name only and you can see uh, it's showing the two files which are changed about the PHP and the index.php so uh, that's it now say uh, you want to see the files which are changed in your last two commits now the la not the last commit and the previous commit also to do that I will uh, run the command git show name only and uh, there is this n parameter n is for the number of uh, commits you want to see I will say n2 it will give you the files which change in the last two commits if you, if you run that command you can see these two commits are shown the second commit and the third commit the initial commit is not shown here uh, so you can see the third commit the contact.php file was changed and the, in the second commit the about.php and the index.php file is changed uh, so that's it guys I, I hope this video is clear to you if you have any doubts please leave a comment in this video and I will uh, help you as I can I also have a blog post about this I will mention it in my uh, video description you can check that blog to see all these commands and uh, please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel so i will upload more videos see you again thank you